Welcome back, Rex, to another episode. Hope you guys are having a great week today. We're with the maker of James Frisky Fins. Well, we're gonna be trying to go for Pompano's. Hopefully we'll make it happen. But before that, I wanted to get into this video. I'm gonna be showing you guys. A lot of you guys have messaged me and girls have messaged me through Instagram, through Messenger, asking me what reels and rods I'm using. So this week, I'm gonna be showing you a setup from beginner Surf, um, surf fishing to intermediate to even advanced surf fishermen because it took me a long time to know what type of rods, what type of reels to use for surf fishing. So this is the reason why I'm making this video. If you guys are new to surf fishing and enjoy this video, help me out. There's a lot of hard work and effort goes to making these videos. Hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy this video, helps you out a little bit. Hit the like. And then if it really does help you, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. We're gonna get into the video. We'll be showing you four rods and reels you can definitely try when surf fishing. We're gonna start from the beginners, intermediate, and to the advanced surf fishermen, which we'll get to at the end. So stay tuned, let's get into the video. Sober Addicts, it hasn't even been 10 minutes while we're doing this intro, and uh, James got a nice pompano on the Frisky Fins pompano rig. You guys have not tried it, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. Pompano action has been on lately. Even though the pompanos are leaving, they're still hitting. Pure example, Frisky Finch Pompano Rig. But the real reason why you guys are here, I know, is for the rods and reels. So, we're at it. We're gonna start off with a beginner. You guys are getting into surf fishing the first time. Don't know exactly what you to get. And uh, you're at Walmart, you're at Academy, you're at Bass Pro Shop, even Amazon, and you're thinking to yourself, what do I start off with? What's a good price to start off with? And what reel and rods should I get? So. I'm gonna start off with a, a basic, this is definitely a beginner rod, good rod, but I'm gonna show you the difference. We're even show you the end, the difference between a beginner rod and a good rod for advanced. So this rod and reel is a Daiwa rod, which I'll be putting in the description down below, and a Shimano Semistro. This is a good beginner's reel and rod. A price, ceramic insert, so it's not stainless steel, so longitude and longer life will not be the case for these rods. But definitely a good rod to start off with. You can either buy them for $17.99 or some stores sell it for $20, these rods. These reels, the Shimano Semesters are good beginner reels. You can also get a pen for suit, which I have some in the back there. They're $29.32, a value of $50 for you beginners out there. You're not sure if you like surf fishing or you're not sure if you're big fishing, this is a good start off rod. So that's rod number one, Radix. $50 value, you're getting into fishing. You're not sure, this will definitely help you out. Diver rod, Shimano Semestra or Open Pursuit leaves you in that value. This is a beginner rod. All right, Radix, we're getting into the intermediate level, right? This is something that uh, we're going up by beginner and by price, which a lot of you guys are sure. Maybe you guys are tight on money or not wanting to spend too much. This is our second rod, right? We're using four rods today. Some of you may agree, some of you may not. This is based on my experience. And as you guys see my last episode, I definitely been catching a lot of fish. Thank God for that. So this is intermediate. H2O Express. This is about $25.99 at Academy, Amazon, Walmart, some have it. Even Bass Pro Shop. And a Pen Fierce 5000, which I did give a giveaway on that uh, not too long ago. Pen Fierce 5000. Good reels. I'm a pen user. Shimano, Stratix, Daiwas, but my preference is a uh, Pen Fierce 5000. This reel runs you about $60. This rod runs you about $25.99. These are not stainless steel. This is why the difference in pricing. Ceramic insert. So yes, this is why it's uh, intermediate. It won't last you as long. This is why we're doing it step by step. But definitely intermediate and money wise, you're around that range of about $80. So beginner rod 50. $80, Pen Fierce 5000, H2O Express. I use them all the time. You guys see my last videos. If you haven't, go check them out. Catch a lot of fish on it and uh, definitely do work. Now we're gonna go up to the third rod. All right, Radix, third rod is, now this is basically one of my favorites, Pen Passion 5000. 
They're the same makers that Pen Battle 2000. If you guys didn't know, they're available everywhere. It's just a, just a special edition rod reels, I mean. But they're also the same makers as Pen Battles, which I do have a lot of them. You guys know this, this rods. I mean, a lot of people use them. These are the Ugly Sticks Shakespeare Big Water. Difference in rods, and I'm gonna show you why, is they're stainless steel. Take a lot of uh, poundage, you can put up to 40 pounds on these rods, and you can top shot your reels, which I do, and Frisky Fins does, is I put 30 pounds braid, definitely a good intermediate, even more advanced. They last a long time. I've been having this one for about two years. Hasn't given me a problem. I, this is one I recommend. There's plentiful videos on these rods, and there's good reviews on these reels. Pent Passion 5000, but the other one, version is the Pen Battle 2000 or 5000. Same model, it's a different name. Very good real and raw combos you want to match with. You catch reds here, you catch bombers with. I've caught big black drums on. But right now we're getting to the best part of the video, Radix. It's the Crim de la Crim custom rods. And this is for the advanced fishermen, surf fishermen that have been doing it for a long time and are really passionate about it and looking for the next good custom rod. Fun, pretty thing. So we're gonna get into that, my favorite part. I just purchased a uh, king rod that he made for me and a uh, surf fishing rod. So we're gonna get into that, fourth rod and reel that you definitely wanna try. This is more for the advanced fishermen. So let's get into that. All right, we're addicts. Now is the big time. You guys been fishing for a long time like I have. I've been fishing for years for surf fishing. You guys wanna get into more, you know, quality, material. Give it that uh, rod that lasts you a long time, two to three years, even five, seven years. And you're looking to invest into something better with quality reels and quality rods. Nothing better than a custom rod. And I'm gonna let James um, give you the description of this rod and reel, which I just purchased. King reel, but mainly the surf rods. And he's gonna explain to you, because since he's the maker of Frisky Fins, the top of the rigs and rods. Let's go ahead and have him describe it. How's it going, guys? So, we have two different rods here. One is the one that he just purchased from me. 11 foot rod, custom handle, custom grip. That's the beauty of buying custom. You can have it any way that you want it. You can have foam, you can have pork, you can have different colors, you can have different inlays. We can do your name, we can do pompano designs, we can do anything that you want. You're paying for custom. You're also paying for components. High quality Fuji real seat, high quality Fuji Alkanite guides, we're really looking for sensitivity in a pompano rod. The rod he just purchased gives you a really good backbone to be able to cast three, four, five inch lead as far as you need to. Very soft tip so you can see the slightest bite. This rod in particular is more of a moderate action. So you're not gonna get that real soft tip. You're not gonna get that real strong backbone, but it's not gonna kill you to cast all day. You can pick anything that you want, million different blanks, tons of different guys, different colors, different options. You name it, I can do it for you. Price is gonna be a little bit more than the entry level, intermediate. But again, you're paying for custom. Anything that you want, we can put on these rods. Any color, any style, you name it, we can do it for you. Shoot me a message on Facebook at Frisky Fins. We're on Instagram at Frisky Fins. Frisky Fins at Yahoo.com. And we're coming out with a website real soon, FriskyFins.com. Love to hear from you. Also, he's also gonna show you the reel that he uses because these rods need quality reels. From my experience, I don't bring out my big rods and reels out, but for these rods, you definitely wanna, you know, have make sure you have good reels. So go ahead and explain the reel part. So we pair my surf rods, these are my personal surf rods. We do a 5500 Pin Spin Fisher long cast. Long cast is exactly what it says. It's designed to cast long distance. We've actually set up the rod guy or the guides specifically for this reel. There's a big algorithm. I mean, I'm not going to get into it, but basically I've set this up to where exactly it's going to cast perfectly with this reel. This rod's going to give you a little more heavy duty. Paired it with a 30 pound braid with a pin. Uh, what is this? With a pin slammer. Pin slammer. You guys oh. know about reels. Pin slammers are quality reels, quality rods. This is what you're paying for is quality. These guys, are gonna, and these are going to be for my redfish, a little bit bigger fish, not, not as much pompano. 
Both of these are sealed as well, so they're great for the ocean. Salt water, sand, you don't have to worry about it getting in there, destroying your reels. You still gotta clean them, but they're definitely gonna last a lot longer than your traditional reel. We're also gonna be showing an example of pricing and quality. I'm gonna be throwing out now that I explained to you guys because there's nothing better better example out there in quality and material. I'm gonna be throwing out my $20 rod and reel. He's gonna be throwing out his reel and rod and you guys will tell the difference on pricing and longitude and distance because I know what it's like being at Bass Pro Shop, being at that base shop, not knowing what rod and reel to get. So this is why I make these videos, hope it helps you out. So let's get into that. All right, we're at it. What better example, right? You're getting into surf fishing. We'll be showing you the difference between beginner rod, custom rod, quality rod, quality reel, the distance. Because you guys know if you're into surf fishing right now, pompanos are about to leave right now. They're at the end of it. You gotta throw out deep. So if you're wanting to throw out deep, you got quality. We're gonna be showing you the difference between $20 and these custom rods. And I always tell you because there's nothing but custom rods, I'm making mine. You can put your name on it, you can put somebody's birthday, you can put your YouTube channel on it. Doesn't matter, he will make it done, he will make, get it done for you guys. So, yeah, let's get into the video. I'm gonna be showing you my first, the distance on it. So, this is the difference. The $20 rod, it's a great rod. I use them all the time. Got friends coming over to town, got friends that are surf fishing. Beginner reel, remember, ceramic insert, stainless steel. Not as sensitive as these rods, but we're gonna show you the difference in distance. Remember, distance, because sometimes the pompano, the red, the black drums are in deeper. And with this rod, we'll show you the distance, how it goes. About, I would say about 50 yards, I'm not a mathematician, I'm not a scientist, unfortunately, we're addicts. I just like fishing, I enjoy this, it's a passion of mine. So I would say about 50 yards with the Shimano Semestro and the Diver Rod. That's $50 value for beginners, 50 yards. Now we're gonna show you the quality in a custom rod and a good reel. So let's go ahead and have James show you from Frisky Fin. All right, we're addicts. Now it's time for the big moment, custom rod. 10 Finch Fisher 6500 long cast. You guys are looking for quality, you're experienced, or just want to get into real surf fishing and want distance. Because sometimes the fish are way out there and you want distance. He's going to show you how far. I was I was speechless, I was impressed, honestly. This is why I bought one off of him. So, James, go ahead. Honestly, I, I don't need... Now you gotta reel it all in. Now you gotta... 50 yards. I don't even know what is that, 100 yards? Easily 100. Easily 100. And that's that he didn't put that, that long step into it. He just threw it out to show you guys an example. Real addicts, this is what I'm talking about. We showed you the pricing. We showed you the reels. We showed you the custom rods. The uh, H2O Express, the Shakespeare. You guys are looking for a rod, reels, combos, definitely give them a try. Shimano Semestra, Dyer Rod, H2O Express with a Pen Pierce 5000. Um, Big Water Ugly Stick with the Pen Passion 5000, which is the same thing as the Pen Battle 5000. And of course, custom rod, Frisky Fin, play the Fin Fisher Long Cast. What better example do you guys you want? We showed you the difference between a beginner's rod and an advanced rod. All right, Radics. Hope this episode helped you guys out a lot. If you're new to fishing, surf fishing. You guys already know, intermediate, advanced, custom rods, custom reels. This is what you guys want. Hope this video helped you out. You guys have a great week. Keep on fishing, Radics. Hit that like button, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Have a great week. Audio jungle.